Modeling exercise M3-2, with the focus, save as, change sketch, and relax relations. Save as, is an easy way to create variants of parts. Parametric design allows you, to change the sketch and other features in the copy. Learn how to change the dimensioning. And how to change the constraints of the sketch, with relax relations. You will find a drawing for the part as a download in PDF format. Create copy with save as. This is the easiest way to create a modified variant of a component. In this case, the component from the last exercise is to be changed according to this drawing. If the base part M3-1 is not already open, click on File Open Navigate to the part and click on OK. If it is already in the working memory, make it the active part by clicking on the tab. The save as command saves the active part under a new name. This creates an independent copy. Click on file, save, save as, and enter the new file name. But be careful, if the basic part has just been created and has never been saved before, there would only be the new variant afterwards, but no longer the basic part. So, make sure you save the base part first. The new copy is currently only available in the working memory, and has yet to be saved. Edit the copied sketch. To change the dimensions now, select the sketch with a double click. Select the dimension 12 with a double click, and change the value to 50. Confirm with a click of the middle mouse button. Hmm, the dimensions now seem quite small, compared to the geometry. To ensure that the dimensions always have a constant size, click on Task, Sketch Setting, and select the option Fix Text Height on screen. Now change the other dimensions. Relax Relations. After a few clicks, the entire dimensioning is changed. Only the angle is still missing. To do this, the vertical relation of this line must be relaxed. And this is how it works. When an object is selected in the sketch, NX analyses, whether the object is exactly vertical, horizontal or parallel, and displays these constraints as symbols. If an object is now moved, connected objects are also moved, according to the constraints displayed. Couldn't all symbols of all objects be displayed permanently? Normally not, because the analysis only starts when an object has been selected. But then the symbols show which objects would be affected by a change. In a complex sketch, it is clearer to see only the constraints that are affected by a change than if all constraints are always displayed. But, there are also permanent constraints that we are still learning about. If a constraint is to be relaxed, simply click on the symbol, and the corner can be moved. If the corner is moved back again, it is automatically labeled as a vertical line again. This line is collinear, with the horizontal sketch line. A click on the symbol relax the constraint, and the line can be moved. Now I move the corner point to the origin of the sketch. The vertical line now lies on the vertical sketch line, the horizontal line on the horizontal sketch line, and the corner point on the origin of the sketch. The relax relations command relaxes all constraints and the sketch can be moved. Back to the exercise. Click on this corner. NX analyses which lines are exactly vertical or horizontal and displays them with symbols. You can set the size of the symbols here. 
I always choose 6mm for my training videos. Now you can move the corner point by holding down the left mouse button. That doesn't always seem to work. In this case, the position of the point is also defined by a dimension. Therefore, also activate the Relax Dimension option. This allows the point to be moved, despite constraints and dimensioning. Create the angle dimension. Select the two lines, select the measured value, overwrite the value, and confirm with a click of the middle mouse button. Referencing dimensions. Oh, dimension 18 now defines the bottom diameter and needs to be adjusted. Of course, you could delete the dimension and create a new one at the top, but dimensions can also be adjusted. Select the measurement with a left click and select Edit Annotation. First activate the option Remove Value, Measure Geometry. Otherwise, the current distance would be adopted as the value. The referenced objects can be newly selected here. Check the snap options. Select the upper corner as the second object. The dimension can now be overwritten in the menu or later by double clicking on the dimension. Update model. Finish the sketch to update the model. The hole is automatically adjusted. The model can also be updated directly in the sketch. Open the sketch and complete the user interface. Click on this small arrow and select Update Model. Change a dimension to test it and click on the new button. Save the changed state. In the next video, we will create a second version of this part and take a first look at the part navigator. So, grab a coffee and let's get on with it.